Hey, since everyone is running their tractors lately, or so it seems on the page, or maybe not, because like the mammal tractor is obviously the one that everybody's got if they've got mammals. <laughs> uh, not that I have seen a surprising amount of SP5s pop up. That's the uh, current version of what is essentially the SE3 with the twin pistons. Uh, I've seen quite a few of them pop up, but the slightly older ones where everything was laid out sort of mirrored. Mm. Anyway, the classic. I haven't, I haven't done the tractor yet. This one I've never ever run it. I just got it and tidied it up, put all these accessories on. Uh, and that's about it. There's very little wrong with it. The paint look on the boiler is pretty much perfect other than the usual trademark stuff from the wheels. But they all get that. Uh, yeah, let's fill it up. Take the little brass chimney cowl off because I want to obviously take the chimney off to do this if I can. Quite fused. There we go. So first things first, I've got to fill it up with water. Safety valve first. It's never got stuck before. That's a little machined brass uh, safety valve cowl cover. And it's fitted on there in a way that does not obscure the safety valve from opening because they can be pushed on too far. So bear that in mind. Uh, now where's my trusty trademark syringe? There it is. Yeah, we should be able to manage. I'm going to fill it until it overflows the safety valve. Which it hasn't yet, so. Keep going. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Didn't take much. Yeah, it stops dripping. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to, going to if I can, tip it back a little bit, just like that. Just like that. I could have done with some kitchen roll, in fact I've got some. A little bit oily but it'll do. Now we've got to funnel, pick it up afterwards. Lovely messy mammals. <laughs> what I'm going to do before I do anything else so that this can't happen anymore. Just going to screw this back in. If I can get it to catch the thread. Oh, come on. There we go, and then I'll clean it again now. That's a lot of water. But it's not coming from underneath, thankfully. Safety valve in. You can see. That's that. And 
oil. You can use all compound steam oil for this. This is quite stiff, which is not a bad thing. Come on. Lift it up by the back wheel to get some inside. Snap. Can push the piston out so you can see the gap right there. You can get down a little, a little bit more down inside. Come on. oil left in this bottle so it's a bit of getting moving there we go might push it up and I'm gonna gonna spin it right. nicely and evenly coated a little bit on that side there yeah. Already feels looser. Little drop down in, in these because these are on top, these are going to get. Not concerned now. Uh, Meth. It was a bit sooty though, a bit grimy, so I've sanded it off a little bit. sorted up a little bit grimy but I can guarantee it's probably going to be fine to use it's going to be gentle a bit turn it to overflow it because I often get a little bit on the edge like that <laughs> It's still soaking in so I can pick another one. It's still soaking in. the one in this time. I think that's about there. I've never known them take this much. Hope it's not leaky. Yeah that's there. light it <laughs> got some mess on there I 
Yeah, waiting game. <laughs> that band off to start with. Oh look how cracked my tyres are. That's not good. It's nice and free now. Gonna go. I haven't quite got whistle yet, so no, it wanted to then. There it goes. Now on Facebook a guy put a little post on. So let's see how slow you can get it going. But I think you're a little bit cheaty with it because the one is on gas. I can regulate that far better with gas and can with these crappy reversing levers that they have on them. Or even the uh, inline ones. That's why I goes very off, isn't it? See how slow you can get it going on mess and steam and nothing else. Just it. <laughs> there you go. There's my effort. <laughs> and then you'll go like that, not many. <laughs> oh. Shows how well bedded in it is. If we've got whistle. No. Yeah, so that was my attempt anyway. <laughs> that has one. I bought on eBay specifically for this and it came with this little, well I presume it's handmade little band like boiler band sort of material that anybody can knock together. But that headlamp, as I found out, is actually the same as the one that's on the Lelesco fire engine. It's, uh, yeah it was bought as specifically for this. I think it looks nice. You might notice I've got a drive board missing on one side, link it got chewed up and got dogs. Oh 
the old impression nice. Oh, this one you know, went around, it was a bit crusted up inside. That's in the shape of it. roll off the table area or maybe it did <laughs> but we'll say no more about that <laughs> it's absolutely fine Mm-hmm. <laughs>